Welcome back to Aspects of Morn. This is the final main character in Akira Kazal, Saya Winterheart. She's kind of a troublemaker. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It, 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 yes, there's history with these characters. And as you might remember, I said when I was talking about Ariane, her sister, they were saved. Uh, their set, or rather their parents sacrificed themselves to save some humans and th those humans are samurai and Ariane took to it but Sayo didn't like the strict code we'll, we'll get into that let's, let's take a look at her she's a dawn wearing monk believe me I told you it's going to be a little different She, as I said she could she didn't like the rigors and just no, oh, you must be this way with the samurai so she left and she didn't have words with her sister or anything she just said sis i gotta go find my own way they kind of said okay you go do that even her adopted parents ah right, go find your own way that's fine just let make sure we know you're okay it was that type of situation it wasn't i'm just gonna leave and run off no didn't do that um she found a monastery believe it or not wandered for a little while like a year and a half and then finally found a monastery that practiced peace and martial arts yes that type of monastery she got into it she loved it she literally became kind of a hipster uh hippie as it were of this world um she's the younger sister of ariane she's like 10 years younger than her sister remember they're both elves the and bloodline so they've lived quite a long time at this point all my characters that you're going to meet there's no origin stories here. They're conceivably around 28 to 35. <laughs> Age-wise. Um, Maturity-wise, yes. Uh, but elves live a lot longer, so their age is different. I'm never going to identify how exactly how old these characters are. But I will say they're past 13 years completely. They're matured. They've been at heroics for a while. Um, part of the problem with with uh, Sally, she fell in love with Kazal, even kissed her while her sister was dating her. Received a black eye for her effort from Kazal herself because Kazal only has eyes for Ariane. And she's like, going, Nope, that was wrong. And you owe your sister an apology. Da 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 da. Went off on her, punched her in the face. Ugh, took a long time for that those fences to mend uh even though most is forgiven at this point when you start reading the book pratchett little dwarf mimic that is the pet of kazao <laughs> does not trust salia always growls at her um she's an expert in dodging attacks and using momentum against her opponent again she practices pete Peace. She's a lot like her. She, she and her sister share that in common. They're not out to hurt anybody. Even Kazao doesn't like hurting people. They're, they're out to, and that's another thing. No, no, you're not gonna see any derezzing in my books. Not like that. No. I mean, they're gonna. If it's a villain, nine times out of ten, the villain's going to a prison planet. Uh, we'll get into prison planets later. There's a rule set. Um, and I told you before, she is different in how she got the lycanthropy the originator of lycanthropy in my universe is a creature called the loop garu i looked this up in mythology urban legends that in some instances what it's referred to this is the origin point the big alpha the thing that created uh lycanthropy because of that, um, he's kind of a totem for his race. And her cure doesn't set properly, so she has to take medication constantly to keep it in check. Um, the cure worked physically, but she still ha can go feral if she doesn't take her medication. So she does have kind of a uh, to her. Uh, and that does play a role in the book you're going to read. <sighs> and that's Salia. That's the last of the main cast. Next time we're going to start going into um, 
a little bit of the supporters. And we're going to go over Pratchett. And we're going to go over Gertrude. And then we'll go over the main villain and her race. Not that her race... I have no inherent bad races. There's some bad apples that still represent, are represented by the uh, less than favorable aspects of some society. Uh, quirks from races like the Red Caps, they have problems. So do uh, my rat races. But you'll see that when we get to it. As for now, I will see you guys in the near future. And thank you for listening.